Pisces. Welcome back to my channel. So let's jump into your messages and see what the universe wants you to know for this quick energy check-in. When I was doing your pre-shuffle, Pisces, someone who walked away from you is changing their mind and coming back. They're either wanting to talk right now or they're watching you. We have friends. Friends know about it. Asking friends for advice, friends interfering. So the universe is saying don't lose hope about this relationship if you still want it. Yeah, we have one last chance and together again. Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces? What do they need to know about this person? What they're feeling and thinking? We have lessons. I'm learning my divine lesson and will soon be by your side. This person is hesitating right now about reaching out to you. It says their hesitation is causing an action due to fears of rejection from you because of their previous behavior. So because of something that they did to you, they just don't feel like you want to talk to them. Yeah, we have case of the X. So these two cards came out in your pre-shuffle. I miss you. Could we start over? And then we have fears blocking connection. Scared to take a leap of faith due to fear. So this person may be afraid to reach out to you right now. I can hear y'all now in the comment section like they wasn't afraid to do what they did. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I know that's right, Pisces. We have unfinished business. I want a second chance with you to show you I can be the one for you. You're like, mm -mm, I don't even think so. I don't even think so. Spirit. Oh, all right. So some of you may receive a text message from this person. And you may smile and be happy because you know that this person is still, you know, thinking about you and they're still feeling you and wanting you. But I don't know. We have, you are on my mind. I miss you. Somebody may text you that. Or they may have texted you that already. Be careful of this person trying to push your buttons because pushing buttons was at the bottom of the deck. I do things to trigger you. It's the only way I know you care. And we have fights. So some of you got into an argument or a fight with your person. Dang, these cards just slid right out of the deck. We have making an effort, knowing they effed up. And prepare for what's to come. So the universe is saying, if you haven't spoken to this person and you're not sure what they're feeling and thinking, they're thinking about you. They're thinking about this connection. You know, they're wondering if you're going to take them back, if you're going to forgive them. I'm hearing, are you going to forgive me this time around? Because maybe this is not this person's first, second, third, or fourth time screwing up. I wanted to say something else, but you know, we got to keep it clean <laughs> for YouTube. Maybe it's not their first, second, third, or fourth time. Maybe you're just like, okay, I'm done, done. You know, I'm hearing somebody say like, I'm so done. Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces? Pisces, some of you are dealing with a Capricorn. I don't know why I'm picking up Capricorn energy. It's just I'm like I'm channeling that for some of you. But we have ignoring, not understanding each other right now, not getting along, not talking. So some of you are not talking to your person. But I feel like even though you're not talking to them, you're still on this person's mind. Okay. Um, some of you may be thinking about this at work. Or someone is stressing you out, maybe texting you, calling you at work all day long while you're trying to get your work done. You may look up and it's like four or five o'clock and you be like, oh my God, I ain't getting nothing done because I'm too busy cursing you out through this text message. Or I'm too busy going outside, getting my coat, going outside, sitting in the car to talk to, talk to you and curse you out. But this person has regrets. We have feeling guilty, remorseful, wanting to undo the damage about some sort of bad choice that they made that they know you're mad about. Feeling someone did you wrong, upset, and bitter. All right, so let's see. Spirit, so what messages do you have for Pisces? Like, I can picture some of y'all right now. Like, you're like, I spent my whole lunch break or my whole break talking to you, and we still didn't get anywhere because all we was doing was arguing. Like, yeah. Spirit, so what messages do you have for Pisces? they need to know and if this hasn't happened yet Pisces I feel like for some of you this is what's to come if you haven't talked to them yet and had your argument and here's the phone call and the breakthrough I just said right before I shuffled and these came out I was like if it hasn't happened yet 
I feel like this is what's to come. Expression of interest, wanting to talk. Communication is key. And then we have your connection is going through a big transformation that will elevate you to the next level. Believe in miracles. So some of you may be feeling like, nope, no way. I'm done. I don't want to talk to this person. We can't get back together. There's no fix in this. But the universe is saying there's some sort of breakthrough. So we're going to see. Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces? Oh, this person's watching you and missing you. They miss you, but they feel safer watching you from a distance. And I never missed anyone in my life. I bet, especially if you're holding back from them and you're not saying anything. Maybe you block this person. Maybe you cut them off because you got tired of them playing games or something. Yeah, we have shady man sneaking around and then we have left unsaid. Although we never said it to each other, we both know. So this person, oh, somebody is definitely talking about you. We have venting about you and then we have friends know about it. So somebody is telling a friend what y'all are going through. They're getting some advice. And I feel like this person may be angry or mad. Could be a fire sign here for some of you. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. That's mad because they feel like you're going through extremes or you're not talking to them or they feel like you're blowing things out of proportion. Somebody may even tell you like it's not that deep. But to you, it is. It's never that deep to the person that's not getting hurt all the time, right? You know, somebody, it's, it's easy for someone to say it ain't that deep. you like, well, it's probably not to you because I'm not doing anything to you. You're doing something to me. All right, let's see. Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces? And this card wanted to come out. Just leave. It's not working out. And we have he's depressed but keeping it to himself. If you've been confused about a situation or a person, rest assured that you will get the answers you seek. Um, someone may confess their feelings to you, Pisces. Oh, somebody is definitely longing to talk to you or be with you. And they don't like the fact that you're ignoring them or that you're undecided. I'm not sure if we can have a future together and still hold it on to each other. Yes, for a lot of you... It's this energy warning. This you don't trust this person because they keep switching up on you. Some of you may be regretting dealing with this person. This card just slipped right out of my hand. Living in the past with regrets can take a toll on your mental health. Start making positive choices so that you can live a happy and empowered life. Some of you may be thinking about this person like, I regret meeting them or giving them my number or talking to them but we have an everlasting love surviving it all you will stay together do you guys ever like i don't know but i know like people that i grew up with that were in relationships with people and i used to be like girl run <laughs> because that ain't gonna be nothing but drama and i have like three friends where they wind up marrying this person and they're actually doing really good right now and i feel like sometimes when people grow up when people learn to change their ways it could be something that happens to them that make them change their ways um you know things do work out because we have indestructible here and everlasting love surviving it all so whatever you guys are going through for some of you with this um, specific person, the universe is saying, you're going to survive it. You will stay together with this person. And you know, it's going to be different for everyone. And so if you want to know how that is or what that's going to be about, of course, get a private reading from me or someone else that you trust, okay, to sort of figure out, is this someone who was going to change their ways and grow up? And will this always be like this? Or, you know, will things be different in the future? We have apology. I'm sorry. It's my fault. What can I do to make it right? Somebody wants to make up with you, but they're sort of pissed off that you're holding back from them. You may have caught this person doing something. It says secrets revealed, getting caught and exposed. So maybe they may be trying to make up with you because you found out something about them. And they feel like it's a done deal that, you know, you're no longer talking to them. All right, let's get some tarot. Somebody wants your attention, Pisces. And now I don't feel like this person is going to stop trying to talk to you until you give in. Or they're going to keep trying to work on it with you. So what messages do you have for Pisces? Oh, you're guarded with the seven of wands. You're like, I don't want to struggle with this relationship anymore. So you're holding back. You're determined 
to make this person feel some sort of way. But it's simply because they keep hurting you. I don't feel like you're doing it on purpose. I feel like you're doing it because you're like, okay, well, if you're going to hurt me, then I'm going to make you hurt. Or if you're going to hurt me, then there's no need for me to talk to you. So what messages do you have for Pisces? The Wheel of Fortune reversed. There's a lot of chaos. You may feel like um, ever since you met this person, it's just been a lot of problems. And it's like you guys can never get it together or, or get it right here. Yeah, some of you do not want to talk. We have the Eight of Wands in reverse. You may even be blocking this person out right now. Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces? Oh. The Ten of Swords. Yeah, it definitely was an ending. The Queen of Swords is reversed here. So some of you cut this person off because of lies, betrayal, consistent, like negative behavior from them. I don't know why I'm picking up for some of you with this eight of wands. This person goes out of town and don't tell you or they take long um how can I say it? It's like you may not hear from this person for weeks or for days. And then they have like no explanation. And they just expect you to deal with it or go along with it. Yeah, we have the world here. Some of you are definitely oh, It's over, but I don't feel like it's going to remain that way. We have the star cards. You don't have faith in this anymore. And with judgment, you have a lot of doubt. Some of you it may even be talking to this person and they're blaming you for things. We have the world, the judgment reverse, and the stars. So we have Aquarius energy here, Scorpio energy. Um, we have Scorpio energy twice here. And the Ace of Cups reverse. Um, some of you are, are really sad about the situation, but you're repressing your emotions and your energy because you're like, I got things to do. I got to get up and go to work. I got to take care of my family. I got to take care of my kids. I got to be happy for my kids. This is the holiday time. I'm not going to sit around depressed because you want to be an idiot. I bet this person is going to try to get your attention. And look who came out the deck. Ace of Swords. There's going to be a breakthrough. And I did say, do you just have that message card? Um, I know I just saw it. Something said breakthrough. But the Ace of Swords, that's what that's all about. Some sort of new beginning here where you guys talk about things or try to, here it is, try to get back on, um, try to get back on track with this. But I just feel like it's not going to be easy especially if you don't trust them this person has a lot of work to do whoever this is pisces spare what messages do you have for pisces some of you are dealing with a fire sign male or female energy the cards are not gender based um with the three of pentacles you may work with this person or maybe you guys were thinking about building a business or talking about it or something and i feel like if that's the case for whoever this is resonating with, this is still going to take place. Because you may feel like, okay, this person is a lousy person in a relationship. But this business idea, you know, maybe we can do this. Maybe we can make that work. Could be with an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. Oh, all right. There's a lot of cards came out, but I'm going to take them. We have the Tower. The Nine of Wands, the Two of Cups, the Six of Cups reverse, and the Five of Cups. Um, I feel like somebody is going to try to talk to you and sort of try to get you to not forget what has happened, but maybe look at it from a different perspective by telling you, okay, I'm going to change. I'm going to do the right thing. There was definitely an argument or um, an argument or disagreement or something that led to a breakup with the tower. Things fell apart. It may have happened unexpectedly out of the blue. You didn't even see it coming. It's like one minute you're talking to this person, you guys are doing good, and the next minute it's over. Or you guys got into like a bad 
um, something was being discussed, something was being talked about, or something happened where you found out about something with the tower. But the Two of Cups is in the middle of all of this. And I feel like what this person is going to try to do is be like, you know, you don't love me anymore. Don't you still love me? And it's like you probably do. But you're like, that's not going to overpower what I'm feeling and what I'm thinking and what you've put me through. Because the Nine of Wands is still here. So you're looking at the situation like, yeah, I don't care if I still love you. I don't know if I want you back. Because the Six of Cups is reversed and the Five of Cups is reversed here. But I, I see you guys forgiving someone or making peace, finding peace with something, healing to move on. Like, you know, you're like, okay, I'm tired of arguing or I'm tired of being mad. Maybe you and this person have been mad with each other for a couple of weeks or a couple of months. And you're like, okay, I'm sick of being mad. I know I still can't trust you. I know you haven't changed. I'm just going to watch you with this nine of wands. I'm going to stay guarded. I'm not going to open up like I normally do. But I still love you two of cups is here can't you can't ignore the two of cups is here okay i mean i just feel like there's still an attraction you know because when you go through something with someone like three days later you just don't stop being attracted to the person that's not reality like you know what i mean all right so let's get one more spirit what messages do you have for pisces give me one more for pisces oh your card came out with the king of swords so some of you are dealing with an air sign a libra gemini or an aquarius we have the hangman here and you need to make a decision about this person like am i going to talk to this person again because here they come pisces <laughs> get ready for them your back is turned the queen of cups your cup is closed you put the lid on it you're angry at this person you're not really feeling them right now but here they come with the page of cups and the page of wands so here come these messages from this person and you may be in heavy indecision mode like i don't know i don't i don't know what to do you know some of you may even ignore this person at first like you may be like i don't even want to talk to them but they are coming in and i feel like this person has some secrets and they may try to make up with you and be like this didn't happen that didn't happen you know or they may apologize about something here I just feel like you're still going to feel confused after, even after you hold a conversation and, and things, you know, you try to make things, they try to make things right with you. Some of you may be dealing with a, um, another water sign. It could be dealing a Pisces dealing with the Pisces. But those are the messages that I have for your reading. Thank you for watching my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.